Well, let's start with the big story that we are tracking today. A 15-year-old rape case involving a self-styled Indian godman has brought the two North Indian states of Haryana and Punjab to a virtual standstill. Now, a special CBI court will begin hearing the case in just roughly 90 minutes from now. The controversial leader of the sect, which is known as the Dera Sacha Sada, Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh, has been asked to be physically present in the court at about 2.30 p.m. Earlier, it had been said that Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh would fly to the Panchkula court from his headquarters in Sirsa in a helicopter. But now it appears that he is leaving the Sirsa headquarters in a convoy. Now, in the latest, Ram Rahim convoy may move from Sirsa, Dera, Sacha, Soda to Panchkula court in roughly about an hour's time. Now, Ram Rahim is expected to go to Panchkula court by road since the distance between Sirsa and Panchkula is about 250 kilometers. It may take more than four hours for the convoy to reach the court is what is being said. And also Ram Rahim had tweeted saying that he will attend the court session despite the fact that he has a backache. Meanwhile, curfew has been imposed in Sirsa town and nearby three villages and 167 companies of central forces have been deployed in Haryana and Punjab. Section 144 has also been imposed in Hanumangar. The army has been put on standby in Panchkula. The mobile internet and data services have been blocked as authorities brace for the verdict in the rape case against Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh. This is a case which dates back to the year 2002. The schools and colleges, offices, boards, corporations, agencies and public sector organizations have been closed in Punjab. In a late night dramatic appeal, the Indian godman Ram Rahim Singh appealed to his followers to maintain peace and go back to their homes. I have heard that 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 I have heard जब सच का सूरज झूठ के बादलों को चीर कर बाहर निकलेगा। Meanwhile, Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh in a public message has appealed for maintaining calm to the Dera followers. यों देनिया सिंह पूरी तैयारियां रखी हैं। We don't expect any trouble and I don't expect trouble from any side. ऐसी सारा प्रबंध सड़ा हुआ है ऐसे। and also it's interesting to note that the Dera Satcha Soda is a very old religious sect which had been formed way back in 1948 in Balochistan and has been popular among lower caste religious followers who often feel ostracized by the higher castes in both Punjab and Haryana. But the Dera followers claim that Dera Satcha Soda had instilled in them a feeling of being accepted in the larger society. Now one of the reasons as to why self styled Godman is enjoying such a massive support is the fact that he's been able to give a certain semblance of equality and acceptance for a lot of people who had felt out and discriminated by the caste system. And also for more on this, we are joined in by my colleague Kartikeya Sharma. Kartikeya, virtually the two states of Punjab and Haryana are, you know, presently pretty much locked down. This is one godman who seems to have brought the two states to a standstill. See, the, the issue here is that this is a rape case. But Dera Satcha Sada has got organizational centers throughout uh, Punjab and Haryana. The headquarter being in Sirsa. And uh, there are many followers, then they come from the, uh, the backward castes, uh, the lower castes, and that's the social support base of Dera. Mm -hmm. Despite a lot of, uh, you know, despite Sikhism being an egalitarian uh, religion, the problem lies in the practice. You know, people who have been there 
or who are part and parcel of uh, the clergy, uh, there's widespread discrimination which still exists. For example, the Dalit Sikhs are not given entrances in, in the certain of the certain Gurudwaras. Now, that constitutes the strength of a lot of deras which operate in Punjab. Now, what is happening is the violation of law in spirit, uh, if not in letter. Now, imagine you there's a there's a verdict and mm -hmm. you have moved hundred vehicles which consist of your private security guards with weapons and uh, all of them will be going to the court. I think this could have been avoided and secondly though he has made an appeal but it's a reminder of the fact that sometimes popular pressures uh, take uh, better of the law. And also Karthikeya, this is not a new case. This is a case which dates back to 2002. A woman had to write anonymously to the Prime Minister after which the High Court, the Punjab and Haryana High Court, took sumoto cognizance of this complaint that was made. Why has it been difficult to actually proceed in this case? Obviously, you know, you need witnesses for the case. The case has to move uh, through various phases. Uh, you know, earlier the the, 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 the person who had accused uh, was not willing to come out. The process in itself is slow. Uh, Dera Satcha Sahaja in itself is a very powerful organization. It has all the resources. So. And obviously, when you have a marginalized person as a victim, it takes time. But at least the court has decided to uh, give a verdict. You know, it has reached upon a conclusion. But the, I don't think that's the story. Muhammad, the story is the way it has been turned into a circus, you know. Mm -hmm. The whole Chandigarh has been completely uh, seized. The schools and colleges are shut. You know, it's like a banana republic. One, one judgment of a court and two big states, important states in this country, are completely shut down. Absolutely indeed, Kartikeya. Do continue to stay on with us. Meanwhile, you know, the two states are completely in a virtual state of lockdown. So what are the arrangements that have been made by the administration? Well, curfew has been clamped in Sirsa and nearly three villages, more than 15,000 paramilitary personnel have been deployed in Punjab and Haryana just for reading out the, of the verdict against Baba Ram Rahim Singh in this case. The mobile and internet and data services in Punjab and Haryana and Chandigarh have been blocked. 177 companies of paramilitary forces have been sent to Panchkula. 15,000 paramilitary and 50,000 policemen have been deployed. Now, two stadiums in Sirsa and Panchkula, designated as special jail, ha have been set aside. Two stadiums have been converted into a jail just to in case if there were to be some kind of a trouble so that these supporters of the Dera Sacha saw that they could be detained. So two stadiums have been turned into a prison. Dozens of train and bus services have been cancelled. And also, um, Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh is seen as a very flamboyant guru, a rock star-like self-styled godman. He heads the Dera Sacha Sauda sect and he has links with politicians from across the spectrum. He also calls himself an actor. There have been movies which, have, which he has directed, produced, written and also starred in. He's also a singer and a film director and has reportedly at least claims that he has millions of followers in Haryana, Punjab and Rajasthan. It's also being said that his Twitter handle has about 3.7 million followers and he's also been the Dera chief since 1990. Now, he starred in his film Messenger of God in 2014. Uh, he's accused in a rape case in 2002, and he also faces charges of murder and forced castration of some of his followers. Now, sometimes he has been, uh, way back in 2007, he had dressed himself up as the 10th Sikh Guru Gobind Singh, which resulted in wide-scale violence um, in, in areas of Punjab, the Jammu and Kashmir, etc.